You may have observed in the results generated for the combined scenario there is no fail status. To generate a fail status you can use checkpoints. You need to insert a checkpoint such that entering correct agent name and password gives a pass status. This is already done in fact. Entering incorrect agent name and password gives a fail status. This is your assignment. Stop the tutorial right now and create a checkpoint. Do not cheat on this. Do it. Well, if you've done the assignment, you may have realized for incorrect agent name and password, you can create a checkpoint such that a pass status is generated or the script gives a runtime error, but no face status. Even though a runtime error also gives a phase status, but it's not desirable. In such extraordinary situations, you can use the method reporter.reportEvent. It's a method which reports an event to the test results. The syntax is reporter.reportEvent argument as event status Event status can have values 0 or mic pass which sends a pass status to the test results window 1 or mic fail which sends a fail status to the test result window 2 or mic done which sends a message to the test results window without affecting the pass or fail status 3 or mic warning which sends a warning message to the test results window Second argument is report step name, which is the name of the step displayed in the test results window. Third argument is details, which is the description of the test results event. Fourth and the last argument is image file path, which is optional and is path and file name of the image to be displayed in the results. In QTP, in the if loop, add a statement reporter dot report event event status as fail step name as login fail. Details would be incorrect agent name and password. Let's run the script again. This time around, the script accurately shows the pass and fail status. In the results tree, a new step is added, login failed, with the details incorrect agent name or password. Which maps to the reporter step added in our script.